What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about something really quick, but it's very important and it has to deal with EQ. So let's get right into it. All right. So a lot of the times when we throw an EQ on parametric EQ2, we just use this default seven band EQ and it's fine. But if you notice when you try to cut things out from the lows or the highs, it may not cut all those frequencies out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's play this part of the beat and I'm going to try to cut some of these highs out. If you notice, you'll see that there's still some frequencies in this area, even though I have this moving. It's not doing a hard cut. There's actually a preset in the EQ to do hard cuts like that. You can click the drop down arrow, go to presets, and choose one of these cut presets here. We'll just choose this 30 hertz and 18k. And now it gives you full cuts, just two bands that will fully cut the frequencies out. So let's try that low pass again. This is also good for automating filter sweeps if that's something you're interested in. Each knob that you're moving is a knob down here. So if I just move this slider right here, it's doing the same thing. And on this one, I can actually right click it and create automation clips. So that'll allow you to do filter sweeps in your beats. You can get some really cool sounds. Now, if you look, not all of the frequencies are getting cut out. There's just a little bit, but that is way more of a cut compared to the default EQ preset that pulls up. So yeah, just a really quick tip if you're trying to get full cuts in your EQ and if you're trying to do filter sweeps. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all.